we are playing for a mighty stake. If we win, we carry slavery to the Pacific Ocean. If we do not exclude slavery from the territories, it will exclude us. such community ever existed as the people of the United States. And the idea that they are so united is utterly false and absurd. A house divided against itself cannot stand. I believe this government cannot endure permanently, half slave and half free. The people of the North and of the South have come to hate each other worse than the hatred between any two nations in the world. No human power can save the Union. All the cotton states will go. Fire must be met with water. Darkness with light. And war for the destruction of liberty must be met with war for the destruction of slavery. As long as a Yankee can stand the war for my subjugation, I can stand it for my honor and liberty. Our bleeding, bankrupt, almost dying country longs for peace, shudders at the prospect of new rivers of human blood. A battle at Gettysburg is now forced upon us. And if we can get up our people and attack with our whole force, tomorrow we ought to defeat the force the enemy has. General Lee, there never was a body of 15,000 men who could make that attack successfully. I am almost ready to say that God wills this contest and wills that it shall not end yet.